Hey, I'm Jake. Today we're going to be continuing our tutorial series for Unity. Today specifically we're going to be looking into leaderboards and this tutorial is going to be real simple and easy to follow and it's actually the same thing that I used in my game, Crosswalk Joyride. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you guys so much. We just got to 1700 subscribers on this channel today actually. And if you guys aren't subscribed, consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. But if you don't want to subscribe, that's okay. A like on this video would help me out a lot. So let's get into this tutorial. So launching into our game, tap the square, which is a continuation from the last tutorial we made, sharing. The only thing that we've changed since the last tutorial is on the game over screen. We've added this little leaderboard icon button. So just make sure that you have a leaderboard button ready to go. Next, we're going to need to download an asset that's gonna make this way easy. It basically does everything for you. I'll have a link to this in the description below, but I'll just hop over there now. So you're just gonna to wanna to download the latest release, and that should download into your downloads folder. So back in Unity, you're gonna to wanna to go to assets, and then you're gonna to wanna to import package, custom package, and it's in my downloads file, so I'm just gonna click on it. It's cloud once, this is the newest release of it. And then I'm just gonna hit import all. Now to quickly set things up, we're gonna to wanna to go to window, cloud once, and then the editor. That should bring up this little window, and we're gonna to wanna to enable Google Play Services and the Apple Game Center. Now to get things started, we are going to need a Google application ID. So we're gonna to have to jump over to the Google Play Console. So here in the Google Play Console, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're in the Game Services tab, and then you're gonna hit New Game. And what's the name of your game? Mine is Tab the Square. Obviously type in your own. <laughs> what kind of game is it? It is a arcade, sure. Continue. Okay, and then we're looking for this number right here. Do not type in my number, get your own. <laughs> we're just gonna copy that over and paste it in this position. And then we're gonna hit Run Setup. We got a success message, Google Play Games configured successfully. So hit OK, save that, just to be sure. Now we're gonna wanna go to our Cloud IDs. We're gonna wanna make a leaderboard. We'll just call this high score. Now, we need to get the Game Center and the uh, Google Play versions of these. So first we're gonna go to the Google Play Console and then we'll go to the App Store Connect. In the Google Play Console, if we go to Leaderboards, we're just gonna click Add Leaderboard and this is gonna be the name and for this leaderboard we're only dealing with high score. You can add as many as you want, but I can't type. High score. Okay, and then we want it to be numeric, but you can also do currency and time based on your needs. Number of decimal places, I'm gonna say zero. Larger is better. And then at, for enable tamper protection, I just leave it on. All that's gonna do is if they suspect that someone cheated, it's just not gonna reflect that on the actual scores. Okay, and then list order, and that should just be good. So let's save that. And then now, when you click back into it, you can grab this code. So now we go back into Unity and we plug that into the game services because that was from the Android side of things and we'll just save the configuration. And then next, log into your App Store Connect for the next value. Once you're in the App Store Connect, you're just going to click on your app and then you're going to want to make sure you're in the Features tab and then in Game Center. From there, you can see the section for leaderboards and we're just going to click a new leaderboard and it's just going to be single leaderboard, so let's choose that. Okay, so the leaderboard reference name um, we'll just call this tap the square high score. And for your leaderboard ID, you can type in whatever you want, but for this example, we'll just do com tap the square um, high score, just for this example. Score format, we're gonna just do integers. So I'll set it to best score and then high to low and this is optional as well. If you want to create it so they can't go over a certain limit, you can do that there. But that looks pretty good. So now we just need to add a language, which for me is going to be English. And this is where we're going to display what the leaderboard's name is. So for this, we're just going to call it high score. I could type high score. Okay, and then the score format suffix, the 
This is just going to be what displays after the integer. So if you had 37 coins, you would want to write coins. But for my game, we are going to write points. But you, this is the um, non-plural form, and this one would be the plural. So we are going to write in point here, and then we're going to write in points here. And then you can also have an image. It is optional. I, for this example, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to hit save. And that should be everything we need. So let's just hit save. So the only other thing you're going to have to do that for iOS is on your apps, when you're submitting your app to the actual app store, you're going to want to come down through your app submission and click on Game Center. And then you're just going to want to add the leaderboard that we created. And that's it. Okay. Other than that, iOS is done. So let's head back into Unity. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we forgot to get the um, identifier. So let's go back to features, go to Game Center. Now, the leaderboard ID is the unique one that we created. So we're just going to copy that. And then we're going to go back into Unity and paste it into the Game Center and save the configuration. Okay guys, I actually forgot a pretty important step when it comes to the Google Play services that we gotta do first. You wanna make sure that you go back to the Google Play console, click on game services, and then click on your app. And then in here, we're gonna wanna go to our linked apps. We're gonna wanna click Android. And you're gonna have to have already uploaded an APK or an app or an, a bundle um, to the Play Store um, to get this to work. But then you just click on this, um, that should be good, and we'll just hit save and continue. And then all you have to click is authorize your app now. It'll give you a confirmation or a, a signing certificate fingerprint. You'll just want to keep track of that for your own records. Um, I'm just going to confirm. Okay, and then once that's linked, then you just want to go down to testing and just add in your testing Gmail account. Um, for me, I already have this set up, so I'm just gonna continue, and it should work from here. So we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna create a C-sharp script, and this script is actually gonna be used for this tutorial and the next tutorial that I'm gonna be making about achievements. So we're gonna call this script Cloud Once Services. Okay, and we'll double click on it to edit it. Now, we're not gonna need the start or update, so we're just going to delete that, as we are going to want to make this a singleton class. So the best way to do that is we're going to create an instance of this class first, and we're going to store it in a variable. So let's create that, and it's going to be a public static, and then you reference the class name, so cloud once services, and then we're just going to call this instance. Okay, and then we're just going to want to create a method that's going to make sure that it is the only instance of this game object. So let's just create a private void and we're gonna call this test singleton. It doesn't need any parameters. Okay, so let's create an if statement. And in this if statement, we're just gonna check if instance does not equal null. And basically what this is checking is if the instance does not equal null, that means there's already a game object, so we're going to want to delete this game object so that uh, we don't instantiate another um, cloud services. So if the instance does not equal null, we are going to want to destroy this game object. So just hit destroy. And then just pass it this game object. And just in case uh, something was to go wrong, you would want to return out of this game object. So if the instance does not equal null, that means that we need to initialize the, or make this into the instance. So the way that we do that is we're just gonna go instance equals this. And then for those of you that have multiple scenes, you're gonna wanna make sure that this game object travels from scene to scene. And the way that you're gonna do that is you're just gonna call um, don't destroy on load and you're just gonna pass it this game object okay so now all we need to do is call this method in the awake function so let's do that let's just do private 
void awake. And then we're just gonna call test singleton. Okay, so now we just need to create one more method. But before we create that method, we're just gonna wanna come up here and make sure that we are using cloud once, which is the asset that we downloaded earlier. And now down here, we're just gonna wanna create a method that will submit the score to the leaderboards. So we're just gonna hit, and we're gonna wanna call this method from another class. So make sure that you make it public and it's not gonna return anything, so it is void. And then we're just gonna call this submit score to leaderboard. And it does take in a parameter and it's just gonna be an integer and we're gonna call it score. Because we've we're using cloud once we can call leaderboards directly and then we're just going to reference our high score and then we're going to call submit score and pass it the score parameter from above so just score and then we're just going to save that and that's all we need to do in this class so now we need to go to the class wherever you set your score because we're going to want to where you set your score we're going to also want to submit the score to the leaderboards so for my case, I set my score in the game over class when um, you get a game over. And so we're just gonna wanna, right after we set the score, we're just gonna wanna submit that score to the leaderboards. And because we made it a singleton object, we know that there's only gonna be one instance of that class, so we can just call the class directly. So we can just go cloud once services, and then we can reference the instance and then we can call whatever method we want, which in this case would be submit score to leaderboard. And then we're gonna pass it um, our score or your the score. Now in my case, in my case only, I set up here my score to my save data class. So for me, I'm going to reference the score from the save data class, but just make sure that you pass your score as an integer in this um, as a parameter. So, but I am gonna go save data and then just reference the score. And that's all the code that we're gonna write for this entire tutorial. Okay, so jumping back into Unity, there's a couple things that we need to do to set things up. The first thing is we're gonna to wanna to add some functionality to the leaderboards button. So make sure you have the leaderboards button selected and we currently have nothing on this button and we're just gonna to wanna to add a component. And the component that we're gonna be looking for is part of the cloud once um, asset that we downloaded earlier and it's just going to be we're going to so just search for the leaderboard and it's going to be this show leaderboards button and that's all you need to do just have the component on the button that's it you don't need to add anything else to that button next we're going to want to create an empty game object and what this game object is going to do is it's just going to keep track of our leaderboards and our achievements in the next tutorial so we're going to want to call this cloud once services. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do with our Cloud One services is we're going to want to add a component from our asset or from the Cloud Once assets. And basically, this cloud this asset is just going to initialize for us. So just look, I guess, search for initialize, and it should be initialize Cloud Once. Um, but next, we're going to want to add our Cloud One Services script that we wrote ourselves. So I'll just attach that, and that should be everything that we need. All right, made with Unity, and it should have automatically logged us in. So we'll see if it did. It usually pops up with a little thing, but this time it didn't. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to work. So let's just tap it. Tap the square. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not very good at my own game. Okay, so I got 71. That's actually the high score. And then if I was to click on the leaderboards, which is not centered, it goes in and you can see that I got 71. And I'm at the top because I'm the only one who's ever played it at the moment. But you can look at it. It has this week, today. So yeah, everything seems to be working. And I'd just like to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope that you found it useful and you liked it and if you did like it, maybe give this video a like. <laughs>
So we're going to keep going with these tutorials and I believe the next tutorial is going to be achievements. So you don't want to miss out on that. So subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.